Hello, I'm Rob Wade, president of the Colebrookdale Railroad Preservation Trust. This cold winter's day finds us in the quiet confines of a beautiful little 18th century house located along the Colebrookdale Railroad's right of way. This house, built in the mid-1700s, was one of the original homes of the Gresh family for whom Greshville is named. The Colebrookdale's tracks are visible just outside. In the final video update of 2017, our executive director, Nathaniel Guest, challenged you to match funding to support the creation of an ADA-compatible train car. In this first video update of 2018, we again celebrate our donors, whose support will power our progress this year. And then later in this video, we will feature the names of those folks who rose to that challenge. I'd like to highlight several contributions that will shape what we do this year. A donation by the Scott and Susan Bentley Fund enabled us to purchase Locomotive 5128. And in 2018, we will be repainting this GP382 locomotive into Colbrookdale colors. And you can expect it to be powering our trains this fall. Recently, the Pennsylvania Department of Community and Economic Development, or DCED, approved the Colbrookdale's application to the Education Improvement Tax Credit Program, or EITC program a five-year commitment to the Colbrookdale from J.P. Mascaro and Sons through the EITC program means that we will be able to provide free passage to local school children aboard our trains. School groups will come here to learn about the local Native American history, Pennsylvania history, geology, and iron heritage that makes the Colbrookdale's legacy central to our identity as Pennsylvanians. I also want to highlight the continuing commitment of the Community Partnerships Program under the administration of the Pennsylvania Department of Conservation and Natural Resources Bureau of Recreation to support the Schuylkill Highlands Conservation Landscape. The Schuylkill Highlands Conservation Landscape's mini-grant program has been a long-term supporter of the Colbrookdale. The mini-grant program first sponsored the initial feasibility and implementation study that gave birth to the railroad. It then sponsored planning studies for the Pottstown and Boyertown boarding areas. Subsequent funding supported the construction of the boarding platforms we now use. And finally, mini-grant funding most recently assisted our accessibility initiative, including the brick walkways in Boyertown and our ADA car restoration. I want to thank Robert Hart Sr. and Mr. and Mrs. John Glanfield for their donation of flat cars and Andy Moeller Jr. for the donation of a dump truck. Their support of our efforts to build a maintenance of way fleet capable of maintaining our 150-year-old railroad will accelerate our efforts into the future. It takes many hands to lift the grand vision of the Culbertdale Railroad. We are grateful to Scott and Susan Bentley, to J.P. Mascaro, to DCED, the Community Partnerships Program of DCNR, and the Schuylkill Highlands for their support. And we are grateful to all of you, our donors, for your support. Now, here's to a happy and prosperous 2018.